the sound down of it. I'm in unknown territory again and when I'm in unknown territory I tend to make a video to see where I've gone wrong and what I've been doing is this is a hollow back I'm into the hollow back stage so I've got my book block made I haven't got the boards on or anything but I put the <coughs> the end pieces on I can't remember I can never remember the end pieces Headbands. They're, they're called headbands, this little bit here. Cosmetic. They're usually stitched on but uh, I haven't stitched them on. And I put a ribbon in and uh, the book is Britain, Scots and Anglo-Saxons. And it's a decent size to do anything with. And I've put a bit of colouring on the back along the spine and it's been rounded and it's been backed. And I have got a bit of muslin on but they don't, this, or mull I should say, but they do say don't put any mull on but I use the mull basically to hold the hinges and give the hinges a bit of support although it shouldn't need it with this leather once you've got the leather on but I don't know whether my leather is bonded leather which won't last 10 minutes because um, our Wendy doesn't know and I didn't know it may well be bonded leather which won't last very long at all and for the price that I paid I'm pretty sure it's bonded leather and bonded leather is made up of bits and pieces and uh, and then squished together and made into like a pulp-like paper and then processed and comes out the other end. And I've got no idea whether it's... There's two things. There's vegetable and chrome leather. And chrome leather is absolutely useless for bookbinding because it's got imperfections and uh, stuff in it that spoils the leather. Whereas vegetable, don't treat it with vegetables, is... Um, there's a way of testing it which I'll, I've seen on the internet you put it in boiling water and one curls up. If it's vegetable it curls up and if it do, doesn't curl up it's chrome. And we don't want chrome. Anyway, for some reason. But I'm not too special. My books aren't going to last a million years so I'm not too worried about that. I'm just trying to get all the leather at the moment. Anyway, I digress. So I've got a book block made and this is... Um, we're talking about... Oh... What was text me needs to get into the... Anything. 450, about 455 pages, 455 pages. And it's quite a big tomb, and I'm right on the limit of me, me, me cutter. So I had to use me, my little edging tool to polish these off and things like that. And um, that's as far as I've got with that. Anyway, this is a bit that I'm on about. This bit will fit on the back. I'll get it the right way around for you. It's called the hollow back and it's made out of cartridge paper, just ordinary card. It's just heavier paper than what I normally use. You can use any type of paper if you want, but it is too soft to put a leather around. And what you need is when you've got it on the thing, it, I, you use it to push around, put the leather around at the end. So if you can imagine that is a big piece of leather, it would nominally have nothing to hold on to apart from the boards. So you put this on so it's got something to rest around when you when you push it into, into behind the book. And um, what I do, I make a hollow back, and a hollow back, what it means by hollow back is it. I put a bit of paper in, which is um, wax paper or whatever kind of paper you use. I use the paper from my Fablon because one side of it is non-stick. And it's just long enough so that I can move it in and out and I've made a hollow back with it. And you can see that it opens up. And when you open the book that should open up. And what you do is you cut a little bit down there and then you pour the, push the thing over the top and you're left with this bit showing facing the book so that bit will still be showing when you've done it because it's got to stand above it's got to stand above it it's a bit complicated this to explain but when you're actually doing it it's not hard to do when you're doing it you're thinking well how am I going to do this and that's sticking up and you know you've got to take it off when you actually see it being done it's easy <laughs> it's easy <laughs> trying to explain it's quite difficult so what I've done is instead of taking that bit off 
and then the bit going over the back which it would do because that would fit over the hollow back it can't go right over the top it's got to go in between the hollow back and the hollow back is too soft so what I've done is I've got this mounting card which I got from Ratsford's and it's for hollow backing and I'm not quite sure what you do because I haven't seen it anywhere and what, what they do is they um, I don't know whether you, you've put this into a hollow this is a, a, a medium one there's a fine medium and a, a large or heavy or whatever it is this is I got the medium because I don't know what I'm doing but anyway it, it is stiff and it's it's resistant to to being wetted so it will take a bit of the thing at the top so as you can put wet leather around it around the top and you'll get a nice shape which is what we want so what I did was on the hollow hollow backing put this on the top and I'm going to glue it I'll just bend them bits in and you can see now that it overhangs at the ends because this is the length of the book you see this you don't go the length of the block you go beyond that to take in the two millimeters of card that's going to give you your edge on your card so your card is going to go on the top of this and then it's going to be level very it's quite difficult to do this so as you can see that that will be level and the card will be underneath so when this passes under that that piece of white paper will now be behind the headband I hope you can understand that I'll, anyway it's just for me it's not really for anybody else and um, what I've done is I've got a set of calipers here which are cheap old things which I had in my set for ages and ages and I wonder what you did with them <laughs> so what I normally do now is I measure down a bit on the hollow card that I've got I think it's about 90 pence this thing 70 odd pence and then there's a tax on top of it and it costs you more for the posters and package so you might as well get about 20 sheets I only got one stupid that I am but anyway I measured an inch down with the ruler which is what I nominally do at the top of the book and then from there I put me dividers on one on one like that and then went and did five of them because nominally there are five and I keep this at the same the same thing I don't move it at all because I make all my books virtually the same way and I make them A5 and there's a little disparity between the bottom and the top so there's an inch there and an inch and a quarter there approximately it changes occasionally it changes depending on the length of the book sometimes the book is a couple of millimeters bigger and smaller and etc etc but normally the bottom is a little bit longer which is what we want because it's an optical illusion when you put the the book on a shelf for some reason I'm, I, I can't explain it. I don't know why anyway so what I'm going to do now is to glue that onto that like so and you can see the overhang so that that the white card will not show anymore now and then I'm going to cut up my ribbon which was leather it's, this is very thin leather which I've stuck together in pieces it's foul leather it's, it's false leather it's not it's, it's like a uh, it's just fiber I don't know what it is it's, it's like uh, the back of a hide or something but anyway it goes stiff when you put glue on it PVA glue on it and uh, I cut that to shape and then put it on the thing like so line it up and put it on and then off we go so I'll stop there and I'll start again in a minute okay well I've uh, cut the bits of leather Uh, off me strip that I have already made up and uh, I've only just cut them off, placed them on and uh, gluing up is one of the main things so I try and keep them as straight as I can and uh,
I got this little trick from uh, uh, he's, he's a priest or a lay preacher or something. He's an American, but uh, it, it was a good little point. Uh, Alex, Alex George or George Alex, I think they call him. He hasn't been very well, but uh, this is one of the little pointers that he showed me, which I thought were very good, was very good. And uh, I'm not as accurate as he is. I'm not as polished or anything as he is. And uh, I'm a bit, in a bit more of a hurry, <laughs> so it's better than the way I was doing it anyway, so. I'm not, I'm not uh, over technical mate and I'm not much of a I'm not much for uh, measuring things as you can tell. I didn't even know what dividers were till today. And I've had them for years. I get things because everybody else has got them. <laughs> oh dear. But uh, they do say it's an art, so I don't fight that bit. Okay, well that's it. Uh, it's, it's better than eyeballing it, I suppose. I wish I could remember his Reginald. Reginald, I think his name is. Is it? I can't. I'm, I, I do apologise for not knowing his name or forgetting his name, because he's quite knowledgeable, and uh, I do give deference to people when they do to tell me something. I don't say I've made it up if I haven't. There aren't many things that I've made up. <laughs> so, so that's the hollow back. And this is my own name, but I, I don't know if it's done this way. I've got no idea because I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the way that they do this. Whether they make a hollow back out of this stuff, complete stuff, all of it, I don't know. It seems very, very stiff, this card, because it is card. It must be at least 190 GSM, this. 160, 180 is it or something. Yeah, I'll stop there anyway because this is going to be a couple of minutes blowing in. Well I've glued the hollow back, made the cartridge paper up and I'm going to put the, um, the mounting card, hollow back mounting card on and uh, line it up. Approximately. may have to slit the sides a little bit but the leather is only about half an inch when it goes in and it's paired and it's very thin 
Uh, and that's something else I'm not good at, pairing leather. Because <laughs> it means you've got to sharpen knives and everything. Oh, I've got loads to learn. But, uh, this is the suffering bit, the learning, isn't it? I'm not even sure that I'm doing this. This is the correct method, but I haven't seen any method, so this is what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing this because I don't know. Uh, if anybody's out there on YouTube, help. <laughs> help. Well, I'll let that dry for a bit. It's bowing up rather well. I do make things as cheap as I can, but if this hollow backing card does work, I'll uh, I'll be very pleased because I have. When you put the ends on, this will fit on the back end of the book now. Just slightly over the size of the book, like so. Once I put the sides on and then I've got a little bit to do yet, so I'll I'll do that next, and then uh, we'll see how I get on. And I'll join all these little bits up when I've done them, because I, I actually don't I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, well I stick the uh, the hollow back on, and I've removed the. The centerpiece it was in in the hollow back, which stops it gluing up. And uh, you can see now that oh, I don't know whether you can see or not. Oh, let's see if I can get that in there. If you look here. This is the bottom. You can see that brown piece uh, above the end band, end bands. Are, uh, it's just sticking up about two millimeters, which is exactly what I want. And I'll use that to put it over the back of the the leather. And there's just a slit down the side. A little slit down the side there. I'm just about half an inch. That's all. The whole thing is about half an inch long to take the leather when I fold it over. So that should give me quite a nice fold. And uh, yeah, that's the top of it. The top, the header, the footer, and uh, the spine. And the four edges are, of course, is around the front. I can't show you that because it's locked up. But uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. It's gone in quite nicely. It's not as good as I expected and it took me a lot, a lot longer than I expected, but uh, it's satisfactory. Now I've got to wait for things to dry. I've cut off the, the bands, they're all at the same angle. I used to mess about with them. You can see there, I've cut, cut the ends off there, just here. And what I do, I put it on an angle like that and it just go down and I cut them straight away. What's that, about 20 degrees? I don't mess about anymore. I just go straight down and cut them off. I don't go back and fiddle and fart and mess about. I just cut it straight off. And the same with the other side. I do the same with the other side. And just go down 20 degrees and cut it off. And uh, it's come out and now I'm going to put backing on. And my daughter's been and she's been to London, Portobello Road again. She's a good one. And she's brought me some leather and I've got some brown leather which I'm going to put I was going to put black on but I'm going to put some brown on she's got some brown leather for me some nice brown she likes it as well and uh, it was inexpensive it wasn't expensive so I'm going to stick that on and then I'm going to do a three-quarter bind and uh, I've made some templates of made a template for the head and uh, edges. I'll show you how that works later on. And it's a three-quarter bind template. You can make as many of these as you want. 
but that's a satisfactory size for me for, for the corner of a for the corner of a book. I put the hole which is it goes straight through, the hole goes straight through and I place that on the corner like that and that gives me the height over for the piece of material and I just line them up there you are like that and that's sufficient there for the end and it will go over square because I've been doing these at an angle <laughs> it was terrible anyway it goes in quite well and uh, it does work and you can make several of these you can make as many as you like in fact so this was made particularly for this book this is a smaller square obviously this would be a different size altogether to a book this big this is this book back is bigger than the book backs I've got in there it's much bigger in fact it's it's a good half an inch bigger so these will actually change these do actually change so if you want to make one for a bigger back you'd have to make a new template uh, but you roughly make them all the same size the, 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 the uh, thing on the YouTube that I saw this person had about 10 of these in a row he had a mark from 1 to 10 and uh, he just picked up the one he wanted and put it on the one that was nearest because these are the ends that you want it's it's that point where it goes on the corner of the corner of the card and then you've got these edges where it fits onto the sides of the card and that gives you the the correct dimensions for the card and when you cut it out every one of them will be the same quite a good little thing I'd already done that before I seen them the, the one the templates that he's got on the on the web are a bit different to the ones I've got but it might work so it doesn't make any difference and I'll show you how they work later and I have got six millimeter edges on these so I've got a, a little template here for centre folding which gives me uh, six millimetres or five sixteenths, whichever you prefer, and that's ideal. Putting in the sides here, and that will give you a good, a good bend up. My books have been a bit tight up till now. I've been doing it at four, so I'm doing them at six now, and uh, I'll see what they like, and then I'll do every one at six if it's ideal. It seems to look a bit big, but when you get the leather on and it, it the leather takes up a bit and the paper takes up a bit. Shot takes down.